Don't come over here without a plan. Don't come over here without a steady monthly income. I don't care where it's from, whether it's your social security, a pension, uh, a trust fund, uh, doesn't matter. Hey, it's a beautiful evening in BGC. I'm in High Street. I'm just leaving Claw Daddy's. And um, we're going to talk about why you might want to move here. And we'll go into the details next. Okay, so we're walking down High Street on my way home. And I just wanted to have a little conversation about, uh, you know, about the possibility of you moving here. And guess what? We're going to walk the other way. And we got a screaming kid. <laughs> um, so, you know, you may have been thinking about this for a while. And uh, I wanted to just uh, talk about a couple of items that might um, help with your decision one way or the other. So uh, let's kind of get into that. So um, what's your current situation uh, where you live? And if it's in the States or in the West anywhere, uh, that's kind of what I'm talking about. I'm not really talking about uh, if someone's already here in Asia. Uh, I'm talking about people that are still in the States. But I've been thinking about moving to Southeast Asia, um, the Philippines, or maybe Thailand or somewhere. But let's just, uh, let's just use the Philippines since I'm here and I live here. But... Um, you know, what's your situation where you're at now? Are you happy? You know, you've been probably uh, looking at uh, the possibility of moving um, over the last, I don't know how long, you know, maybe just a couple of months. Maybe it's just kind of crept into the back of your mind or maybe you've been thinking about it for, um, you know, more than a few months, maybe a year or more. Um, what's your current situation where you're at now? Um, are you happy? Are you happy with your current situation? Uh, if you're unhappy, is that the reason why you're looking at uh, moving out here? Um, you know, how have you been thinking about the struggles you're having uh, at home? You know, maybe uh, maybe you're struggling a little bit at home. Maybe things aren't exactly. And I'm not talking about family and you leaving your family. I'm talking about just, you know, maybe your situation at work uh, or maybe you're not working. Maybe you're retired. Um, you know, some of the common struggles, and I'll just use the U.S. as an example. Uh, just the cost of living has skyrocketed in the last uh, four or five years. It's been, it's crazy. Um, inflation is really high there now um it costs so much to just get by in the u.s and uh that could be a, a determining factor for you looking at moving because maybe you've been watching videos my videos or other youtubers here in the philippines or here in southeast asia and they're talking about how much cheaper it is to live here and how you can live comfortably um here in Southeast Asia, look at all the kitties. <laughs> mew, 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 mew. So, uh, yeah, so maybe you've been, you've been uh, noticing those videos and thinking, wow, um, I could live a lot more comfortably if I wasn't here in the States, if I was somewhere in, you know, the Philippines. For an example, so are you struggling at home? Is is that with your finances and that sort of thing? Is that what's um, if, 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 is that what's pushing you? Is that a determining factor? How long you've been thinking about making a move? If you have been thinking about making a move, um, has it been a while? I mean, if you've been thinking about this for a long time. You know, I would say over a year, uh, you need to make a decision. You need to decide whether this is a real thing that you want to move on and, and do this, or 
is it just a pipe dream for you? And if it's just a pipe dream and you don't think it's ever going to happen, then you need to uh, you need to uh, make that decision and, and just move on, and just don't don't explore um, the possibility of moving if it's if you've decided it's just going to be a pipe dream for you. Um, have you been thinking about retiring? You know, maybe you're in the workforce and you're all stressed out from being at work. You know, put a put a pen to paper, figure out a budget. If you retire today or tomorrow, what's that look like as far as your budget? Make that a priority if you're thinking about moving over here to the Philippines. Um, make a priority to figure out what your budget is going to look like. What's your income? What is that going to look like if you were to retire tomorrow? Do you have enough? Um, have you been thinking about your current budget? You know, what does that look like? Uh, because of your cost of living being so high in the States or in the West, um, maybe your budget isn't sufficient enough to for you to get by you know maybe you're settling for a cheaper not as nice place to uh to live uh you're settling on lesser things to eat you're not getting the the things that uh keep you happy like me i love golf so if you're a golfer and it's like well i can't go golfing because i can't afford it you know, so those little hobbies, those little things that you can't do on a daily or weekly basis, those contribute to your depression and your misery. And so if those things are piling up on you and you're kind of seeing that, man, my life here sucks, let me see if I can budget a retirement plan in a country that's going to be a lot cheaper. So think about those things. It's very important. And uh, see if you can come up with a budget that will help with that. Let's talk about some other things. And by the way, please like, share, and subscribe. I really do appreciate that. Um, there's some things you need. So, so let's say you've made a decision now. You say, JJ. I'm a lonely bull too. I want to move to the Philippines and have a life similar to yours and, uh, you know, look for a girlfriend or whatever. Um, so here's what you need to do. One of the first things you need to ask yourself is what will you be leaving behind? So if you have a family that you're leaving behind, are they okay with that? And are you okay with that? Um, you know, my my son's uh, growing. They're doing their own thing. So that's never been an issue. I was, I'm divorced. I've been divorced for 12 years now. So those issues have never been a thing. I've got, you know, family as far as my sisters. You know, both my parents are deceased. I've got sisters. I live in various areas. I've got cousins that live all over. So even though I'm still close to them, uh, it wasn't that like I was seeing them on a daily or even a weekly basis. So moving over here wasn't that big an issue for me. I didn't have that major problem. These are some really neat little restaurants down here. A lot of Korean and Japanese restaurants if you want to check that out over here on uh, uh, off 7th Avenue. So, and then they've got a cool little basketball court over here, outdoor basketball, that you see them play basketball a lot here day and night, always busy. So, BGC's a cool area. So, what will you leave behind? You know, family, friends, are you able to do that and not hurt feelings or or not miss them to a point where 
you're just going to be lonely here and, and even more depressed if you come out here. Uh, number two thing you need to keep in mind is can you afford to move overseas? Yeah, it's cheaper to live here, but getting here is another thing. There's a cost involved. In other words, just the flight itself can be very expensive to move here. So that's one thing that you have to keep in mind. Um, if you're moving anything from overseas, there's going to be a big cost in that. So the more things you move, the more packages or the more bundles that you have, obviously the, the higher the cost is going to be. And I'm not even really going to get into um, moving cars or vehicles or anything like that because that's a huge cost in itself just from the import taxes. So that's going to be something that you'll have to deal with as well. If you don't want to move all this stuff, if you can't afford to move all this stuff, uh, think about downsizing. You know, are you able to downsize? How much can you downsize? In other words, let me get across this road quick before it changes. It'll give you a lot of time in some of these <laughs> to really move. And I like to move it, move it. So let's get back to downsizing. Uh, are you able to downsize? Is that something that you're able to do? And if so, how, to what extent are you able to downsize? Can you get rid of everything? Can you sell your house? Can you sell your furniture? Can you get rid of the clothes that you don't need? Because if you're going to live here in the Philippines, you're not going to need your winter clothes. You won't need that. And uh, so there's no point in bringing it over. So I've downsized for the most part. Now, I'm not completely downsized. I have a small storage unit that I have in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that's got some items there that... Um, I have in storage personal items. There's an antique uh, a stereo console that it was my dad's when I was a kid that I have. Um, you know, some file work, you know, things like that. So I haven't completely downsized, but I got rid of almost all my furniture. Um, my car is at my cousin's, so he's taking care of that. So, and I will sell that uh, this year. Uh, so I won't have to worry about that. But it was nice when I went back in the States last September to have that to drive around because I was driving all over Hell's Half Acre. I mean, I was from Dallas to Tulsa to Nebraska. So I was all over. Hello. How are you? Say hi. <laughs> um. So, having that car available was, was nice. I didn't have to rent a car because car rentals have gone crazy as far as prices here are over in the States now. So, um, so hello, sir. Are you able to downsize? And if so, how much can you downsize? And do you have someone that can take care of your items that you can't get rid of? Another thing you need to be aware of and keep in mind is what will your family and friends think if you tell them, oh, by the way, I'm moving to the Philippines. What are they going to say? Um, are they going to be happy? Are they going to be upset? Are they going to think you're crazy? My family, you know, their initial reaction was, why would you want to do that? Um, of course, I went for a different reason. I didn't come over here to retire. I came over here for a job. So that was completely a different reason. But it gave me the opportunity to stay here once my job ended. So 
keep in mind what your family and friends are going to say. Now, if you're a retirement age or if you're already retired, then what are they going to say? It's like, hey, I'm moving somewhere where my retirement uh, income is going to go a lot farther than it is right now living in the States. Uh, if you're not yet retired, then you've got to figure that out. So um, you've got to figure out as far as your budget. Hello. As far as your budget, you've got to figure out what your expenses are going to be. And you got to figure out what your monthly income is going to be. And the last thing I would say is don't come over here without a plan. Don't come over here without a steady monthly income. I don't care where it's from, whether it's your Social Security, a pension, uh, a trust fund, it doesn't matter. Uh, or if you're still working, if, you got a, if you're a digital nomad. But make sure you have a steady income. In other words, something that comes in on a monthly basis or however, you know, so you know every month you're going to have this much money coming in and it's going to be guaranteed. Don't come over here with just some money in a savings account and think it's going to last because it won't. Um, you're not going to be able to, you know, you've heard all the stories. Uh, this expat he came over with $30,000 and he was going to make it last for two years until he could apply for Social Security. Well, he meets a girl. The girl has a family. The girl has needs. The family has needs. Before he knows it, he's building a house for the family. He buys a truck for the brother. And then he's broke. And then what? He's so broke he can't even get back to the U.S. So don't be that guy. Um, so have that monthly income already. And, you know, if you've got a huge 401k and you're ready to retire and you want to move that into something where you're getting a monthly payout, that's fine as long as you know it's going to last for the rest of your life. And, of course, nobody knows how long they're going to live. So just make sure that you've got that steady income so you're not going to run out of money. Come over here with a savings. Yes, absolutely. Because there's going to be some initial expenses that you're going to need right away that you won't be able to wait for your monthly check to pay for. You've got to be able to pay for a rent deposit. And generally speaking, it's one month rent, two months uh, deposit. Now, you can negotiate those down. You're also going to need to stay in a Airbnb or a hotel for a week or so until you find a place that you want to live. Um, maybe longer. So you're going to have these expenses when you first get here. Of course, obviously, the airline ticket and transportation expenses of any sort. So those are expenses that's going to come up front and that you're going to need some cash on hand to be able to take care of um, before anything else. Uh, the other thing is, um, if you're set on moving out here, come out here first. If you haven't been here, come out first for a visit. Stay six weeks, two months, as long as you can. You know, as long as you're able. You know, if you're working, you might not be able to stay long. But make, it, make a couple of trips then and uh, come out and check things out. Check different areas out if you've got time. Because then you're going to get a better idea of what it feels like to live here, what everybody's like that lives here, and if it's right for you. You know, the weather, everything. If all that is, you know, if it ticks all your boxes, then yes, then you can look at moving here. And then the last thing I want to say and make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Last thing is, what are you waiting for? If you watch this and you're ready, 
to do the move. What are you waiting for? Let's get it done. <laughs> I don't want to. I want to see you here. So enjoy this video, and we'll, we'll talk to you again soon. For Buhai, live life, my friend, and we'll see you again. Bye bye.